Good morning, good morning, good morning. Thank you to all of the people who bought training and thank you to the people who are gonna buy training. And thank you to the Nerd Tribe for your well-constructed comments. I put up some videos talking about how I think that even though Kanye West is wealthy, wealthier than I'll ever be, I feel that he is low class and this is one of the things that has happened in terms of people who don't have class, education, but have money. And I have saw a lot of comments. He's got more money than you. Why are you talking about him? All right. I have more money than 99.% of my audience, but people talk about me all the time. It's kind of funny. It's like this whole notion of Kanye is getting in trouble because he's teaching black folks that you're the real Jews. Serious question. How does being a real Jew, having knowledge of self, how does that put money in your pocket? Seriously, serious question. Because Kanye seems to be getting in all of this trouble, which I think is completely false. Kanye and Hurricane Katrina, Kanye and Taylor Swift. Kanye has been a loose cannon since his career has begun. Um, I don't think that Chase shut his account because he's teaching black folks, you're the real Jews. Now, also, let, let's kind of talk about this. I don't personally think that black folks are the real Jews. And I will go back to Africa to make my case. I believe Africans are in some parts, because you know, Africa is a continent that's composed of 54 countries. But Egypt, the place of the pharaohs, the place with the pyramids, that's in Africa. So if Kanye was trying to teach black folks that part of your history, because once again, this is only a segment of the African continent, a segment of the African population who descend from the Egyptians, that, hey, you were the pyramid builders. You had science, you had math, you had things that have disappeared. If Kanye was teaching that, I would be like, I don't think he would even get in trouble. Kanye was attacking Jewish people and Jewish people have power, money and position. And, you know, you can't mess with Jews. You can't mess with gays. It's getting to the point. You can't even say a fat chick is fat. So in this morning conversation, I want you to give me an intelligent, well thought out thesis of Kanye is teaching black folks they're Jews. Now, Louis Farrakhan, Nation of Islam, taught black people how to be entrepreneurs, how to build. Now, Louis Farrakhan has been under much scrutiny and a lot of hate, but Louis Farrakhan is actually teaching black folks how to be successful. I don't think that Kanye is teaching black folks how to be successful. And once again, I'm going to say it again. Please put in the comments, how does the information that you are a real Jew changes your life? It's like, oh yeah, oh, I'm, I'm a real Jew? For real? Ooh, how, how does that change your life? This is what I call black folk tomfoolery. That, you know, every time, you know, Kanye brings a lot of bad press misfortune to himself because he's reckless. He's, he wants to just say, I think a lot of people like Kanye because he says things that they think, but they can't say. But once again, please put in here how does knowing that you are a real Jew impact and change your life? Let's hear it. Let's hear it because 
that's kind of like me telling you that if you go to medical school and you become a doctor, you're going to make a lot of money. You have that knowledge. We all know that if we become a doctor, we all know if we become an actor, we all know if we become a starting NFL quarterback that was drafted in the first round, we're going to make millions of dollars. We already know that. How does having that knowledge without the practical application do anything for you? Anything. I'm, I'm just curious. I am really looking forward to the comments on this because I'm asking a serious question. I'm not trolling. I want to know how does knowing that you, and once again, I would totally differ. I don't think black folks are the real Jews. And this is why. When we came from Africa, they took us from a multitude of tribes. And there was some people who maybe were Egyptian or, you know, there were so many tribes. There were so many lost connections that we are mutts. Those of us who are in America today are mutts. We're a combination of many tribes, many races, black, white, Asian, Hispanic. We're mutts. So from a biological perspective, it's kind of hard to say that you're the descendant of such and such from it. Because essentially, if you put it all together, you know, the average black person is white, black, Hispanic and Asian from a genetic perspective. Don't believe me? Once again, Go to YouTube and look at the color of Africans. They're typically dark. But those of us in America, we're not dark. We're, we're average. Like you'll have a few of us who are dark, but most of us are pretty brown and go from brown to light, bright pink. And that's just from all of the intermixing. So from a significant lineage standpoint, because we have been interbred, there is no purity of the race. That's the that's the concept I'm looking for. There is no purity. Black folks are mutts. American blacks are mutts. We're so mixed up like you could probably go to an African village and they can trace a lineage from their first four followers because they don't have this dilution. So putting that in there and then going ahead and say, we're the real Jews. Really? I, I just don't see it. But let me know your opinions, thoughts, and comments. What's going on? My name is Glendon Cameron, and I want to introduce you to the corporate game. What is the corporate game? The corporate game is a collegiate level educational portal that will teach you how to have your best version of your life. I got a question. What would you do if you had the money that you needed to have the life that you wanted to have. And for the average American, an additional $3,000 per month makes a huge, huge difference. So this is the collegiate level corporate game, teaching you things about business, money, corporate structures, business credit, all of that, plus a lot more. Now here is the deal. You can start a business. You can do it with the right level of training and the right level of execution. And here's the thing that you have to understand. Starting this business is going to take time. I know that we are in a situation where every day you're hit over the head with information saying that you can take this course you can hack this and you can literally quit your job in 30 days this isn't that you can do it but it's going to take time and one of the things is and this is something that i never hear anyone talking about 
is that you have to change who you are to go ahead and to set up a situation where you can become a corporate citizen. And what's a corporate citizen? A corporate citizen is a person through a job or a combination of businesses that makes $250,000 per year. At this level, you can get rich. You can become a millionaire within 10 years following this blueprint. And that's what we give you in the corporate game, what it is and how to play. So if you want to sign up, if you want to be a millionaire within the next 10 years, go ahead, sign up for the corporate game. The link is in the first comment.